Hey Aries, this is your reading for April 2020, Summer Resident Venus sign. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right in with each other, okay? We're going to get a message from your spirit guides and your angels here. What would you like Aries to know at April 2020, Summer Resident Venus sign? That's for Aries. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Hope you're healthy, your family's healthy. I am thinking about all of you. Let's see what message is here for you. <laughs> I tried to do your reading before and this came out, okay? Listen to your heart. It says, listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said, Aries, uh, but you need to listen with a loving heart, okay? Okay, express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Okay. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. You have a choice also in who you want to love here, Aries. Okay, that's something else I'm hearing. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. What situations do you guys have yourself in? Let's take a little deeper look into your cards here, Aries. Okay. Okay. So Aries, right off the back, I am getting this feeling like there's a choice um, that needs to be made at this moment. Like you guys have a decision uh, to make in regards to love. That's what's coming in, okay? Maybe you are thinking about someone you're not quite sure about them. I'm saying this because you have choose love and appreciate this moment, okay? It's saying each and every situation has an opportunity to grow, okay? So something is coming in or you already have someone on your mind that you may be interested in. They're saying express love through gifts, okay? It could be something small. Um, that's why they're saying a token, a small token, a message, a confirmation. Someone is interested in you. That's what I'm saying here. They're saying listen with your heart coming in here. This person may be a water sign. Um, I'm saying water, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It says sensitive emotions, times are heightened. Emotions um, and sensitivity call for extra care and gentleness. Self-care as well. Maybe you're feeling, um, I feel like you're unsure about someone. Here, they want you to listen deeper um, and let your heart guide you. Right now at this moment, I know you guys are like, I'm going to think with my head, okay? Heart be guiding me in crazy places. Someone's very emotional, though. They may be hesitant themselves or thinking about something a little bit too much, okay? Maybe you're thinking about a love, um, looking in it too much. That's what I feel here. Express your love through gifts. Let's see ceremonies and celebrations okay it's a time of important life patch passages this could be a soulmate for you okay such as weddings uh birthdays things of that sort anniversaries they're saying express yourself to this person you don't want to give anything financially or in forms of a gift I feel like it's more of a message or acknowledgement or confirmation to someone here, okay? There is something significant about this person um, that brings in this energy of anniversaries, weddings, celebration, okay? I feel like this person may want a deeper level of commitment. Take a look here. Choose love, Aries. Period. <laughs> Life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lessons and blessings they can contain. So you always have a choice as to what you should do here. They're saying uh, pay attention to prior lessons that you may have learned, okay? Or reoccurring um patterns of yourself or even this person here okay maybe you're both a little in and out or maybe this water sign is in and out okay doesn't have to be a water sign could be in any part of their charts 
they're saying call upon your guys here to get guidance okay they're saying pray to know the blessings and the blessings they contain because there is some blessing there's some union that i'm seeing here okay i appreciate this moment every opportunity has um every situation has an opportunity to grow spiritual and religious community this person may be at your job they may be having the same interests as you they may be spiritual like you okay um yeah you guys are like-minded that's what it's saying like-minded people um join with someone of this caliber that's what they're saying i think i put a post up about that let's take a look here Who's this person for Aries? What message do you have here for Aries? Ooh, you may have had a rough time with this person. You have the five of swords coming in. Okay. Um, you may have saw this person as... I don't know why this word is coming up competition maybe you see them as very arrogant okay um trying to get the upper hand you see something about them maybe you feel like this person is uh selfish like they're not paying attention to you or they would not pay attention to you here okay hmm you have the six of cups here this is someone that you know here aries or you've known of known of or known same okay i feel like this person wants to give to you with the six of cups that i'm saying here what you think is not how they feel that's what i'm getting here i feel like they're coming with a very gentle energy they may be a little hesitant themselves due to past situations in their life okay this person, you and this person may be going through a spiritual awakening, okay? Because you have, um, am I saying this right? Angelite? Okay, spiritual and religious communities here. Both of you guys may have gone through some life lessons. That's what I'm saying here. Maybe a little standoffish. You both. Why is choose love here? for Aries saying you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns I feel like this person wants to move positively with you here yes that's what I'm seeing here they have had some situation that um, maybe someone abandoned them maybe you're feeling the same way okay that you had an ex-partner or someone that you were interested in or with that abandoned you okay um, and you may not be in the energy of trusting right now at this moment both of you guys are on this journey this life lesson looking for more spiritual enlightenment um, looking for answers with the eight of cups coming in here okay it gives me that um, it feels like you are searching okay it's a spiritual search all right but there is a change of heart here if you want I feel like someone would be open to speaking with you or um, be open to, it's just so many people in this picture. That's what I'm looking like. It looks like they want a lifetime with you. Okay. Experience with you. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. So you can stay in, inside of this reoccurring negative energy. But I feel like uh, the, I feel like your spirit guides are saying that they want you to leave these things in the past here. Okay. They want you to break free and know that these are just life lessons that you're going through. Break free from reoccurring negative patterns here. Okay. You've outgrown them, walk away from them grow from your experience and choose love okay express love through gifts who is this for for aries just a love coming in for aries 
the King of Cups here. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Okay. And you have the Judgment card here. There's a positive change with a possible water sign. Water is showing up very strong here. We have fire here with the judgment card here, but I feel like there's some water sign, possibly, okay, um, that wants you to express yourself to them here. This person may have issues expressing how they feel as well. Okay, but you both have deep emotions here. And I feel what the judgment card is saying that there is a chance of love, of love if you choose to have it, okay? Um, but also the spirit guides are saying that you need to prepare yourself, okay? Um, to put the past firmly where it belongs, okay? In the past, if you decide to open up to someone, Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity calls for extra care and gentleness. Like, don't be so rough, Aries. This is a time of healing, okay? Not only yourself, but finding balance in your relationships. They're also saying look for divine messages and expect change, positive change, okay? This is a transformation that you may go through. Um, it's almost like you're changing here, Aries. Maybe you find yourself opening up, okay, to someone. You have e sensitive emotions here. That's why I'm saying this. Um, it just feels like you guys are not... You may not want to be taken advantage of, and this is what's stopping you, okay? Because you're unsure. There's some uncertainty um, that is here. The angel, guys, want you, your angels want you to leave the past firmly behind you, okay? On the card here. That, leave that firmly behind you. Reoccurring problems, okay? Things that hold you back, fear, with the devil card coming in here, okay? You could have been dealing with the Capricorn um, that I'm seeing here. This could have been a connection, a past connection here, or a Sagittarius that I'm seeing. But this is something that you're leaving behind here. And you're healing from these type of connections or people that may have felt like they had control over you. Okay, at some point. Let's get some more guidance for you here, Aries. What message, Spirit Guides, do you have for Aries? What message do you have here for Aries? Thank you. Woo! Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> You're like, not enough, okay? Someone's frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, though. I talked about fear. That's what's coming up, okay? Fear and ego issues, jealousy. People may be jealous of you, okay? Because you are advancing. You're healing yourself. You are releasing yourself from negative people, okay? You see that these relationships in the past, it's not enough to carry you forward towards something new, okay? But you have to move with confidence. I know it may have shaken you a little bit, okay? Where you got um, in the energy of not trusting um, or not wanting to open up here. That's what I'm saying. There is some love coming in. Kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving. Didn't we just say this? Express your love through gifts. Give a small token to someone. Express your love to them, Aries, okay? Falling in love and affection. There's someone here for you. You guys know who it is. It may be someone from your past here. A childhood sweetheart or someone that you just knew from from the past here okay that's for some of you let me get one more message for you here Aries
Okay, bring it into form. So they're like, bring this love to light or bring this situation to life, okay? Uh, bring it into form, whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're feeling for someone, okay? If there is some energy of you being interested, okay? And what's stopping you is fear due to past connections, okay? Are you being frustrated? Are you thinking that something is not enough? I feel like they're saying be willing to uh, open up um, and allow something to unfold naturally, okay? Know that there is an opportunity um, in some relationship that is here saying each and every situation has an opportunity to grow it's going to grow due to your life lessons that you had okay i feel like the more you think positively about a connection the more positive energy you pump into it okay because it's talking about releasing yourself from reoccurring negative patterns maybe you're so used to dealing with people that aren't being truthful to you or being open with you okay that you're afraid to bring something into into form okay that you're afraid to open yourself up to someone here but they want you to bring it into form make it happen make it happen express yourself you may be surprised okay that is your reading it looks like it was hidden on love a little bit for you guys a lot a lot bit <laughs> this is your reading aries okay you guys leave me a comment down below make sure you like subscribe and share this video for me okay i'll see you in the next one bye aries